find the limit as x approaches 2 of this quantity here. So if we plug in 2 for all of the x's, you'll notice that on the bottom we get 4 minus 2 minus 2. So we get 4 minus 4, which is 0. So that's usually the first thing you want to do is plug in 2 for your x's. So I immediately went to the bottom here and just made sure that it didn't make sense. If it makes sense, you can plug it in and you get an answer, but you can never have 0 on the bottom. So what we have to do is we have to rewrite this problem. So I think we, will be, we should be able to factor this. So let's see. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to positive 2. So I think that's going to be a positive 4 and a negative 2. And that should work. Because 4x minus 2x is 2x. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So it checks. On the bottom, it's the same thing. This should factor somehow. I think it's going to be 2 and 1. And I think it's going to be a negative 2. And we can check that. The middle term is x. The outer term is negative 2x. If you add them, you get the middle term here, so negative x. Everything looks good. These cancel, so we get limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 4 over x plus 1. And now we can plug in 2 for all of the x's. So we get 2 plus 4 over 2 plus 1. So that's equal to 6 over 3, which is actually equal to just 2. And that's it.